Okay, next part, another new sheet. So go for a new sheet and go for another front view. One, two, two. Okay, switch windows. Select the part that should be this one. Select the face, and there you are. Confirm. And in this case, I could change the scale to one to one. Okay. I need one projected view. This one. Yep. I could delete these and maybe another isometric view. Go to the window, select the part, select the face, and maybe change this one to one to two. Okay, and just move it over here. Okay, let's do the dimensions. Double click. That's 100, but not diameter distance. There is an angle. Ninety degrees, and the distance we want to catch this point. So just enable this one, and you get it. But don't forget to disable it again. Okay. This should be a diameter. Yes, it's okay. And I want to have it horizontal. And let's check this out. I need a dimension from this to that line. And now you could press Shift and move this symbol. Not shift, sorry, <laughs> press uh, control and I could move it over here. And I got this dimension. Same again right here. Press control, move this over here. That's the anchor point which I want. Then there is one from here to there, and this one. Let's move them a little bit down, maybe like this. Okay, there is a radius, but not tangent, so it's not available right here, so I will change this option. my radius. It should not go to the center, so press right mouse button, radius center, disable. Extend to center, disable. And there is one dimension right here. And I could activate 
this view. Double click. That's 90 degrees or 60 degrees, 60 degrees. And again, activate intersection point detection. So you could make this dimension and disable it again. And that's the last dimension in this drawing. Okay. Thank you.